Okay, today we're going to do an experiment. And this experiment is experiment 1.1, making observations. We're going to read the purpose, define qualitative and quantitative data, follow the procedure, and answer the conclusion questions. When we're making observations, we're going to put them on this chart. We're going to put our qualitative data here and our quantitative data here. This is going to be for our solid object, and I'll tell you what we're doing for our chosen solid object, and this will be for the Alka-Seltzer tablet. We'll use all that information and our questions to the conclusion at the end to fill out this lab report. So we'll talk about this when we've done the experiment. So let's start with our experiment sheet. And you received this on Microsoft Teams through Gradelink and also via email. So you should have or be able to access experiment 1.1, making observations. The first thing it wants us to do is read the purpose, which is to, do, to explore qualitative and quantitative observations as they relate to the properties of solids. The two solids we're going to look at is an acetaminophen tablet or Tylenol and an Alka-Seltzer tablet you may know this as an antacid. Then it wants us to define qualitative and quantitative data. Qualitative data has to do with your five senses. Taste, smell, touch, looking at something's color or its texture or identifying what it is. Like this is an acetaminophen tablet and this is an Alka-Seltzer. Or if you didn't know that, these are both some type of tablet. Quantitative data has to do with measurements has to do with things like width, diameter, length, radius. So it has to do with calculations. So qualitative data is all about quality, whereas quantitative data has all the numbers. So let's move on and look at the procedures. Procedure one says examine a small object using your senses. And then in the data table on the back of this sheet, or you can use the one in your student notebook, Make a list of your observations, and we are going to be cautious taking qualitative data. We're never going to taste anything in a lab because it can be hazardous. Now, I know these aren't toxic to me, but I still want to be safe in lab. So we want to just look at the object and take some qualitative data. So that's using our senses. Let's look first at our solid object of choice, our acetaminophen tablet. So it is white in color. It's longer than it is wide. It's pretty smooth to the touch. I don't smell anything. So usually in lab, you waft smells towards you. You don't put your nose right on it. It does have some writing on it that says L484. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But overall, it's smooth, it's white, it's oblong or oval shaped. Those are a lot of things I can pick up on with my senses. And then I could look at the object in the magnifying glass and I would notice things like that, things like it's extremely smooth, doesn't appear to be grain, grainy. And I'd probably see this number in a little bit more detail. All right, and then we'd wanna weigh this structure. And I've done a lot of the measurements off screen just to save time. And weighing this structure, you get this information. So this says acetaminophen tablet or Tylenol, and the length is 3.5 centimeters. The width is 1.67 centimeters and the weight is 0 0.98 grams. So again, length 3.5 centimeters. Width 1.67 centimeters. Weight 0 0.98 grams. And that was for the acetaminophen or Tylenol tablet. So it said to take the weight with a kitchen scale and the next step was to use a ruler to get two types of measurements. All right, and then it wants us to place the object in a beaker of water and stir and then record our observations. Now I don't have beakers, but I do have two water bottles and they're both filled with 150 milliliters of water. So this is my first water bottle. We put our tablet in there. Can't really see much of anything happening. 
I'll swirl it. See if we can see any bubbles. Nothing yet. We'll leave it there. We didn't see any bubbles. We didn't see shape change. No dissolving. So let's put that to the side. Now, step seven wants us to repeat everything we just did for an Alka-Seltzer tablet. So here's our Alka-Seltzer tablet. The quality or sense information we can get that's qualitative is that it's also white. It looks like a circle. It's somewhat thick, but it's much thinner than it is wide or its diameter. It's also smooth to the touch. It has writing on it that says Alka-Seltzer. And doesn't really have a smell either. If I looked under a microscope, I would also see that it's very smooth, doesn't appear grainy. So very similar to the acetaminophen or Tylenol tablet, which is why I chose it. Now I'm gonna have to break this up to put it in the water bottle, but first let's talk about some of the other measurements we can take. This would be our quantitative data. Remember, measurement is quantitative, quantity. So for our Alka-Seltzer tablet, oop, wrong ones, sorry guys. For our Alka-Seltzer tablet or our antacid tablet, we would have a diameter of four centimeters. So going this way, that's a diameter of four centimeters. We have a width of 1.5 centimeters and a weight of 1.3 grams. So diameter, four centimeters, width, 1.5 grams, and then weight, 1.3 grams. All right, so that is our basic information, both qualitative and quantitative. Now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna break this in half just so I can fit it in the top of the bottle but we'll see what happens. All right, so I just broke it into two little pieces so we can fit it in the bottle, but it's still a solid object currently. Look, this is a lot different than the acetaminophen tablet. We're seeing a lot of bubbles. Bubbles contain gas, and the acetaminophen tablet is dissolving very quickly, and it's producing a lot of bubbles. See if you might even be able to hear it, or let's take a look at the top where we have this foam. So let's swirl it around, give them both the same treatment. Can't really see it. Let's put this to the side and let it settle down and talk about our experiment. So we were able to define qualitative and quantitative data do this procedure for two solid objects, the Tylenol tablet and Alka-Seltzer, and then you want to answer these conclusion questions. Let me read them to you. How did the appearance of each object differ under the magnifying glass? Which data were obtained by qualitative observations? Which data were obtained by quantitative observations? And then how did the instruments extend the observations you made with your senses? Instrumentation we used was water and containers, and we did some swirling action. So how did that help? How did the objects change when placed in a beaker of water? What did you see? Were there differences between the two solid objects in water? Definitely differences. Here's the acetaminophen tablet. You can start to see a few bubbles. There's one side of it that's gotten all puffy. Here, the Alka-Seltzer tablet's basically gone. It completely dissolved, so that we did see differences. You're gonna use the information that you got performing the experiment or watching it be performed to fill out your qualitative and quantitative data for your acetaminophen tablet, our chosen solid object, and the Alka-Seltzer tablet. Then you're gonna complete this lab report. You want to make sure you put your experiment number, title, date, and name. Experiment title, experiment 1.1, making observations. Then you want to talk about the supplies. Two containers or water bottles, tap water, some way to stir if you used containers, an acetaminophen tablet, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. So for example, 
Here are some of the supplies that I had to purchase. Next, you want to answer your introduction and conclusion. You want to do this in complete sentences. So introduction, then you have on the back your conclusion. Let's talk about the introduction first. You had a purpose on that first sheet, and it says to explore qualitative and quantitative observations as they relate to the properties of solids. So I would include that. I would include your purpose as a part of your introduction and also include the definitions of quantitative and qualitative information. That tells a person who's reading your lab report what you're, going to, what you're doing, why you're doing it, and here's some basic information you need to know before you read my lab report. Next, do the procedure, which is provided for you here. If you make any changes, if you do the experiment, or if you feel I made changes, like I used water bottles instead of beakers, then write those in your procedures. Next, you're gonna write your observations. This should be a summary of what you put in your observation charts. And then for your conclusion, you were conveniently asked some conclusion questions. Answer those questions in complete sentences to complete your conclusion. So make sure you're reading the experiment, recording your data, and filling out your lab report to complete this lab. If you have any questions, please send an email to me. Remember, you can access that particular experiment worksheet in Teams, GradeLink, or via email. Thank you.